I'm actually at a customer's house. Um, I am Rob Workman. I'm a certified electromagnetic radiation specialist, smart meter specialist. And I've uh, had a lot of clients, get a lot of phone calls concerned about the smart meter. And right now what we do, we got a, we're doing a log. And I come in here, if you zoom in here, camera lady. Come in a little closer in here. Come in closer. So this has been running for 22 minutes. And it would tell me the log number. And one second, it tells me I have one day and 14 hours left of the log if I want to do so. But that's log 45. This is also another NFA 1000, which is just telling the magnetic field around the uh, distribution line here or the overhead drop. So this actually is a safe and sound. This says 5G in the, in the 20 to 40 gigahertz. Do not expect to get any um, frequencies off this because this uses a 900 megahertz. And I know that because I got a Spectrum Analyzer here, RF Explorer. And that is the 909 frequency. So every smart meter is sometimes a little bit different. Sometimes they get 915, sometimes they get 911, sometimes they get 927. This is a 909. This over here, I'm pulling over here real quick. This right here is an HF59B, which is actually taking the data log from the actual smart meter from right here. And then I also have around the corner, if you want to point over here, that's the safest sound pro. That's going to show me the peak. Uh, frequencies during that uh, past five minutes of log or two minutes of log. Sometimes these things put out frequencies every five minutes, sometimes every minute, sometimes every, every few seconds. And I'm in Kirkwood right now, which right now they use a smart meter called Esther. And I've been to past um, Kirkwood meters and they seem to be very, very active. And as a building biologist um, in the literature, uh, if you look at the biological effects with all the literature it states there you heard a pulse right there a real light pulse but uh, we're gonna count that was i'm gonna count how long that takes so we'll keep this video running i'm gonna see how long it takes to pulse again so we're gonna sit i'm gonna use this as well so i can hear it right now the roaring noise that you hear here is actually cell towers but this will hear the pop, the pop. Let me see how long it takes to pulse again. It seems like it's about every minute. So this might be a long, little bit longer video than I like to do. And so I have two meters. This is a 30, this is HF 35C. So I'm, this is not a log. I'm using the HF 59 meter log to the NFA 1000. And I believe it was log 45. So, again, frequency is still 909. So, we'll wait to the pulse. There it is, pulse. Okay, so that was about 30 seconds. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, so every 30 seconds that's been pulsing, I'm going to kind of get out of the way here, get out of the highly magnetic fields, and I'm going to go ahead and take a screen and then. I'm going to put this cloth as well above this, around it. I'm going to cover it. And what this is going to tell me is for sure that pulse is from this. So we're going to wait about a minute or two. If we don't hear anything, I'm going to turn this up as loud as it goes. And the last time this pulsed, you see here, if I get in here, it hit 446, the last pulse. That was the intensity. I'm gonna reset it and see if we get anything close to that. So all cell phones are turned off here, which is great. All Wi-Fi is turned off. And Wi-Fi has a specific signature. It's got a kind of a, 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 a kind of a, a jackhammer, pop, 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 pop. And the smart meters put out a spit, like a pop. A little short, it might might do several different pulses at the same time. It chatters a little bit. So so far, we don't we don't have anything I've heard. Yep, nothing in the four hundreds yet. So this is blocking everything coming from the meter. That's why I'm gonna show the test. I'll wait another minute, and then I'm gonna take it off, and then, we're gonna do, then you'll see you'll hear you'll hear the popping every 30 seconds or every one minute.
Sometimes it's consistent, sometimes it's erratic. But really, this is a co-violation anytime more than four times a day, according to the FCC. And most have heard anybody uh, tell the consumers once every 15 minutes. But uh, this is obviously much more than once every 15 minutes. So let's go by the FCC and um, know that once every three or four times a day is enough. This is a class 2B carcinogenic by the World Health Organization. So I know some utilities have been telling the homeowners that, that it's, World Health, it's World Health Organization says it's safe and they don't say it's safe. They put in the same category as lead, DDT, benzene, and mercury. So the good news, there's no 5G coming off this thing. Which, I mean, this is part of 5G, but that's another subject matter. But the 20 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz, no, no 20 to 40. Okay, so nothing. We haven't heard anything. Okay, the highest. Sorry, there's some of them, they're saying, well, time out on me. Well, that's why we have a backup. That battery went dead. Go to one that's why you have to have two of these things. So let's go for another minute or two. I'm sorry for the delay there. But I haven't heard anything pop in over two minutes now since we covered the meter. So this is kind of the ambient from a cell tower. That's right here, the roaring noise. But you can hear the pop, that'll jump up to anywhere from 500 to about, about, about 1500. So this has been recorded. So all this will show up on the data. So we have the visual, you hear it. So a couple of your, of your five senses, you'll be able to see it, hear it. And, you know, documented. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back off because it's been well over a minute or two. Take this off. There you go. Jump He's got 423. Hits. So 423, we've also hit 1200 a couple times. Let's keep it going. So 1 1000, 2000.
been about two minutes, so we haven't had a pulse in two minutes. So let's we'll see here. Keep going. There you go. So that hit 176. So it was about two minutes, two minutes and 15 seconds since the last call. So now we've got to cover for a while. So um, that, you have to hear the pulse there. And then of course, remember we're still at the, you can get the video there. You see the screen without, um, let's get into the shade here for a minute. One camera lady here. You can point that there. So right, we're at the uh, 909. I see that there, so it is 909 right there. If we get a clear view of that, okay. All right, so that's good enough for this video. We'll do another one here in a second.